Why does Britain have such a tradition of chimney sweeps? From Mary Poppins to Victorian Britain, things have certainly changed. We no longer put children up chimneys for a start, and most sweeps these days have a machine to do the job. But one sweep likes to keep the magic of a traditional chimney sweep. Chimney sweep! I think when my dad was featured on TV's Country Ways Sweeping uh, and helping him when I was a kid, it's in my blood. So uh, yeah, I took on chimney sweeping because uh, I've, I've grown up with it. My dad was a chimney sweep, his dad was a chimney sweep and uh, a couple of my uncles did chimney sweeping for a good season. And uh, when I was back in Kent, I, uh, I had a, my chimney sweeping business there. Uh, but I've just moved to Runcorn, so I'm starting up again. What I love most about chimney sweeping is probably just meeting all the people around the area that you live, uh, getting to know the community. Everyone's always so friendly. It's lovely having a cup of tea, you know, saying hello. Uh, so yeah, that's probably the best bit. It's just just to meet the people. So since moving to Runcorn, I mean, obviously, when I was back in Kent, um, our name was known for chimney sweeping because obviously third generation sweep. So as soon as you say the name Lock, uh, everyone knows who you are. So it's, people finding you was really easy. Um, but when people was looking for a chimney sweep, we were always, it was our family really. Um, we were the ones to go to. Uh, but since moving to Runcorn, um, obviously no one knows me here. Um, it's really started from scratch. So uh, been out canvassing, you know, set, putting out leaflets and stuff, putting up on Facebook pages. Um, but really, I think the main spread will be word of mouth. Um, generally, when I've been to a house, um, everyone's really friendly. We get chatting, get to know the people, and then they recommend you to their friends. Sweeping seems to go uh, with the tide and with the season. So particularly with house renovation programmes. Um, you often find when they've had a gas fire in, they'll take the gas fire out and put a, open up the fire because um, it becomes popular again. Um, people like a fire, it's company, it's, you know, you can have a fire on instead of having the TV on and it's a different type of warmth. It's not just like uh, putting your radiators on, it's, it's fresh, it's, it's cosy, you know, it's, and there's a lot of countries that can't do it either because it's just too warm so they don't tend to do it but here we have that luxury especially in the winter around Christmas time it seems to go with Christmas it's almost part of the tradition people have their chimney swept probably once a year minimum um, unless they're sort of burning it all the time year in year out then on occasion I'd say a couple of times a year um, but generally once a year is, is pretty pretty typical um, I guess the best times would either be and before you're thinking of lighting up and opening up your fire, so before you start having a fire for the winter season as it gets colder. Um, alternatively, at the end of the season is a really good time to get it swept. Um, it's really easy to get the soot off the chimney um, when, it's, when it's fresh, I suppose. So sort of February, March, April um, is always good. Um, or as I say, at the end of the summer, just before you're sort of going into the winter season, or just before you're gonna light your chimney because you, obviously you don't want a chimney fire. So there's a couple of different brushes. I mean, I've got these two here. So they're obviously different sizes. It's the same, same type of thing, sort of wire that kind of scrapes up the chimney and gets all the soot off. They're just different sizes. Because um, some chimneys, um, particularly if they've got a wood burner, um, some of them will have a flue that goes up inside the chimney. So the smoke's not actually getting to the chimney breast. It's just within the flue. So the smaller brush is to get up inside those tubes, to get right up in there, get around the corners. I've got different rods for different thicknesses to get round areas. Um, but yeah, different brushes basically just for sweeping different chimneys. Funny stories. <laughs> uh, mm, um, yeah, my dad, I remember my dad told me about um, my granddad when he was out sweeping. And uh, he used to, after he'd, he'd done a chimney, he'd, he'd put the money in his hat, so around the line, and he'd put all the all the money inside there, tuck it in, and put his hat, hat on. And um, I never saw this. This is obviously a story my dad said. And uh, yeah, he said, "Oh, the old girls used to love it. See him put his hat, his money in his hat." So anyway, um, one day my dad was out with him sweeping and uh, sweeping the chimney, and um, the lady's gone out to I think make a cup of tea or something, and. 
sweeping a bit of the chimney and some of the, some of the dust has sort of puffed out the chimney. So he's taken his hat off to wave it and all the money's come flying out, gone all around the house. So they're scrambling around the house trying to collect up the money, really embarrassing apparently. But yeah, that's as funny stories go, I suppose that's, that's, that's a pretty good one. Oh yeah, you've got to have your top hat. Part of the job, isn't it? That look right, otherwise. Never trust the sweep without a top hat. Jiminy, Jim, Jiminy, Jim, Jim, Jiru. Good luck, Bull Rob, up as I shake.